Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Here we go. We're on the way to Magus' castle, and uh, we don't need to change the party. What am I doing? It's another treasure chest, sealed by a mysterious force. When are we ever going to get to use those? I'm just going to sneak past these guys, because if you don't do that, you're going to have to fight them, and then when you beat them, a whole bunch of rats come out and start following you around here, and then you probably end up having to fight those too. But I got no need for that right now. So here's a dead soldier and a note written in blood that says the juggler in Max's castle strength is guard one attack. Beware. More on that later. It's the other end of the magic cave. That was easy. But here is Magus's lair. Dun 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 dun. Ha <laughs> ha. This can only be. Yeah. Nice. Sorry, I'm uh, talking to Lucajin on AIM. It's <laughs> kind of cool. Magus's castle. Oh yeah. So we are gonna go inside. All right then. Um, so we go inside. There doesn't seem to be anything here. There's two different ways to go here. We'll try uh, this right here. Right, we got kids looking at a treasure. Wow. Your treasure? Who said it was yours? Um, is that King Guardia? What's he doing here? Is he gonna talk? He's not gonna talk. Princess Nadia. There's the queen saying the frog is safe. Chrono's mom is even here. What the hell is going on? Jeez, is this Magus's castle or is this an episode of Lost? Eh, well, nothing there. I guess we have to go back. Well, that hallway pretty much sucked. See a bunch of ghosts of people we know, and then an empty room with a chair. Yeah, that's, uh... <clears throat> that accomplished a whole lot. Let's try the other way. See what we got. Hello. Well, I don't know who you are anyway, so... Mid-Ether. These guys don't say anything besides ha-ha and stuff, or nothing. So... You come on back here, and there's a sword on the wall behind the throne. Can't seem to do anything with that, though, so... Oh well, got a shelter. Got a midi ether. Well, that hallway turned out to be another colossal waste of time. Colossal waste of time part two. Does it ever end? What is this? Isn't that Fritz? I think it is. He's not saying anything though. So, oh well. Well, I guess we can't defeat Magus. I guess we're gonna have to leave. But wait, what? there's a save point here that wasn't there before. Everything just got dark. Somebody got a flashlight? <laughs> Ozzy! Oh no. We're going off the rails on the crazy train. Welcome, Glenn. Or should I say Sir Froggy? Mwahaha! Say, it looks like you got some replacements for Cyrus. Magus is a tad busy right now. You'll have to take up your business with me, the Swordsman Slash, and Flee the Magician, and... I love how they do this. Ugh. Oh. You'll have to defeat all 100 of the beasts in Magus's castle. That's too much like my jealous bass voice, I think. Okay, when you get into a huge group of enemies like this, your best bet is to um, use ice water. As soon as Frog gets his turn up here, it's a dual tech between Frog and Marl, and it will pretty much wipe out any group of enemies in this place. Until, until a little bit later, they do get stronger, and there are some that are immune to it, so you'll have to watch out for that. But... Usually bigger enemies are immune to it, so... But this will take care of them, one by one. Piece of cake. Oh yeah! So we got 488 experience points, 12 uh, tech points, and Chrono gets a level up. And the bat is back. He seemed to be attracted to Ozzy when he was talking. What are these guys doing? Huh. Maybe I should fight those, I don't know. Well, we just get another group of them up here anyway, so... Only a moron would try to kill something that's already dead. Oh, already dead. Humans. Alright guys, we want to fight you. So, we'll use Ice Water again to take care of these guys, but he's going to be immune to it. So I'm going to have him take a little physical uh, beating from Chrono there, and that should finish him right off. Cha-ching! Yeah, 600 damage, that's just amazing, holy cow. I don't think I ever equipped that Masamune on Frog, but I think it actually equips it automatically when he opens the cave, so... But I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure as soon as this battle's over here, so... 
Let's have a look and see. Do, do, do. Yeah, he's got it equipped. Alright, he's good. Is there anything else I can give him that might be better than what he has? Rock Helm. Oh yeah, definitely. Titan Vest. Dude! Okay, um... And Hero Metal, that'll increase the critical rate, critical hit rate, that he has with the Masamune. Which is extremely good to have. Uh, please help. Relieve us of this misery! Ice Water, anyone? Hmm, how did you get past my Cadaver Pals? Cadaver Pals? Cadaver something? Whatever. Oh dear me. This must be a mini-boss. It's been ages, Sir Slush. That's what Frog called him, it's a nice little nickname. That's Slash, you slimy dolt! Still playing the comedian, eh, Glenn? You'd be singing a different tune if Cyrus hadn't been there with you last time. You'd have fit right in with those bony fellows, you just busted up. Did he say bony? Okay, you got a sword back there, why don't you use it? Well, this guy's not too bad, at first. When he grabs the sword off the wall, he can be a little more nasty, but for now, he's no big threat. So, I think I'm gonna take this opportunity to show off some of my other text, slurp cut there, he grabs him with a tongue and hits him with a sword, which is awesome. Ice sword is also very awesome. I just like the way it looks and the way it sounds, it's, it rocks. Shapoom! It always does pretty good damage too, so we'll try slurp cut again. I might almost be better off just using a plain old physical attack though, because if he's got the critical hit, then, you know, if he's more likely to get one, might as well take advantage of that. So try an R.O. World, try to keep ourselves above 200, or in the general vicinity of 200. That's about the best we can do. Okay. Well that, was, well, that wasn't a critical hit, but it still did 150, so that's pretty good. We're just gonna go ahead and use some physical attacks for a minute here. Here we go. Oh yeah. But you didn't like that, did you? Well, that did about the same damage as an ice sword did right there. Let's try spin cut. That's basically... <coughs> Basically, just a plain physical attack, but it's double damage. Yep. Yeah, so the ice didn't really help that too much, so we might as well not use that there. But, um... Wow, okay. There's not much she can do right now besides healing. But, uh... We're just gonna... Oh, well, we might as well do something here, so... Yep, yep, yep. Once he grabs that sword, this will start to get a little more interesting, because he's he's a little bit tougher than I remember. I'd, for some reason, I didn't remember him having as much HP as he does. I think we might just use physical attacks for here. Because we don't need any, you know. The techs are good, but they're not really that useful here, unless you're talking... Well, we do have X Strike. Oh, crap. Okay, we just beat him, or so we thought. But he says, now, let's get to business. This is going to do me a world of good. Yes, it is. And with no Cyrus to protect you, you're mine. You dare to oppose me? Shut up! Shut up, ass munch. We need Aura Whirl and fast. Oh, thank God. Oh, no, not thank God. Oh, man. Oh, God. He almost had him. Let's go ahead and slurp. That frog slurp himself there. As nasty as that sounds. Boy, he needed it really bad there, so... Now it's time to break out the X Strike. Probably your best your weapon of choice. X Strike and Cure should take care of this real fast. So we'll have Marl cure Frog, and then next turn she'll cure Chrono, and then she'll cure herself, and we'll just keep spamming X Strike for a while. Otherwise, this could get really dangerous. Things could go really bad really fast here, so let's watch what you're doing. I think their combined damage from physical attacks would be about the same, but... Uh, you know, especially with Frog's critical hit, so maybe I should just stick with that. I don't know. We'll try that on a turn. And we'll just keep having Marl alter alternate from curing one guy to the next. She'll take care of us. <coughs> just keep us alive and we'll take care of the rest. Isn't that a typical way it goes in RPG? The girl is the healer. You gotta do the... whatever. Or as a country song would say, Lightning does the work. That used to be like a chunky song. There's a chunky man singing it. <coughs> I don't know why I'm talking about it, it's stupid. Alright, that's some powerful cure spell she's got there too, man. My slurp was only healing, healing for like 80, and yet hers uses one more magic point, heals for like four times as much. So, the Chrono's max HP is 400 over now, so, over 400, should I say, being dyslexic here. So it's not a bad idea. I'm gonna just go back to X-Strike, because you know what? It looks cooler. I haven't shown you sword string yet. But there's really no point in using water-based text on this guy, because he's immune to it, so, I think he is. Holy crap, what was that? Man, that almost killed her. Holy cow. 
Yeah, this guy's got some powerful moves. You gotta watch what you're doing. Oh man, I'm over 11 minutes. Crap. This is gonna take this long. Wait, what did I just use there? I didn't, whatever that was, I didn't mean to use it. That's right, I sword again. What the heck? Oh, okay, well that turned out pretty good then. <coughs> like I wish all this Chrono Spin touch did about the same damage as this. See, that doesn't do anything. It still looks cool though. It's still worth it to see it. <laughs> hey, Frog must not have been on X Strike in his menu, and that's why I didn't remember it, so. Let's get him fixed up. Are we done yet? Man, this guy's got a lot of HP. Like I said, I just don't remember him having this much HP. I did a little, actually, I actually recorded this before, and I died because he had all this HP I didn't remember him having. <gasps> oh my god, he killed her! Yes, indeed. Oh, you're crazy. Wait. I think I'm just gonna finish him off. Yeah. I don't have time to be trying to recover now. We gotta finish this now. Oh, great. Oh, man. Well, that's not good. We're gonna have to hope that this works. Oh, sure. Just hit him twice in a row. Well, what's your beef, man? Where's the beef? Oh, no. We really need to crit him now. Because we don't, we're gonna die. Oh, we just stop that. That hurts. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait a minute. It would've been so epic. How in the world did he have that much HP? Oh, my god. That's two times now I died on this guy. Are you kidding me? I mean, I must have done 4,000 damage there. He told me he has that much HP. Holy cow. Well, I guess we'll have to try this again next time, or maybe we'll do flea next time. I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do. Okay, see you guys later.